Hey everybody, happy Tuesday. I hope everyone's safe and staying at home and not getting sick during this coronavirus outbreak. Today, episode eight, we're gonna finish talking about our first industry segment, gaming, and we started talking about that in episode six. So back then, in episode six, we were talking about how gaming was one of the early AI applications that started all the way back at the 1956 Dartmouth conference that sort of launched AI, and they were building AIs to try to play checkers back then. It took a few years, but by the late 50s, they had perfected the checker AI, and they expanded it over the years after that to be able to play other simple board games. But the next big breakthrough was all the way in 1997, so 40 years after the Dartmouth conference. And that was when IBM Research developed Deep Blue that played Garry Kasparov, the world chess champion, and beat him. That was huge. That was all over the news. And then from there, the next huge news event in gaming was in October of 2016, when AlphaGo beat Fan Wei, the European Go champion, and that was worldwide huge news, especially because of Go's popularity in Asia and other parts of the world. Go is a more complicated game, and the, the ability to develop an AI to play Go was facilitated by deep learning, which was the neural net breakthrough that I talked about in one of our earlier episodes in 2012. But deep learning really allows an AI to learn to play a game in a different way than a human would play it. So that was a watershed event that really launched AI in China to a whole new level because of their interest in the game Go, uh, investment in and entrepreneurial work in AI really took off from that time of October 2016 to now. And so much so that China has pulled even more or less with the US in AI. So that's a huge change in a very short period of time, all driven by the event of AlphaGo beating FanWi. So uh, what else about gaming? Well, this is AIs learning to play games. What about AI in games? Well, that is an extremely recent event. The first time that an AI was incorporated into a game was by NVIDIA in December 2018. So that's a little over a year ago from right now. That is very, very recent. But what do we see in terms of this industry and use of AI in gaming going forward? Well, we see some miraculous things coming due to the development of some other technology that is very, very compatible with AI and with gaming. And I'm talking principally about virtual reality and augmented reality. So virtual reality is creating a complete virtual scene from scratch. Uh, so you're basically in an alternate world. Augmented reality is you're seeing the natural world, but there are annotations that you can see, for example, in a pair, pair of glasses. Let's say you were doing a walking tour of Paris you would be looking at a building and the AR, augmented reality, would tell you what that building was, when it was built, what it's used for, everything you'd ever want to know about it. All that is either here or coming. Um, it's here in more primitive form. AR and VR is evolving very, very rapidly right now. We'll talk about that again later in a, multiple episodes, but suffice it to say, Gaming is a huge, huge area in the past and in the future for AI. So that wraps up the first industry segment we're gonna talk about using AI in. 
I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about AI and gaming. And on Saturday, we're going to go to a new industry. So thanks again for watching. Please subscribe if you like what you're seeing, like it, and share it. Share it with your friends. And I hope I'm delivering real value to you and helping you learn more about what's happening with AI in the world today. Take care. Stay well.